have a very simple recipe here, but I've got an image and then I have a text container underneath for a caption. Now, one thing that drives me nuts, especially when I'm doing a book or any type of publication, is inconsistencies. So if I were going in and I were putting a text container under my image so that I could have a certain distance, I could go in here and I could, you know, measure it or what some people do is put this right under here and then use their down arrow X number of times to move it. It's like, okay, too much, too much work. Other people will go and put a text wrap around the entire image and then this will sit off a ways. But I use something a little bit different. So I'm going to zoom in here and we're going to see what I do. I'm going to snap this right to the container. Very easy to do. And then under my text frame options again, go into my command or control B, I'm going to use my baseline options. In here, since I've got my text container selected, because this is our text frame options, I'm going to go to the offset and I'm going to say, let's offset the letting. And what this allows me to do is this allows me to take my letting here and move the baseline of that down a certain distance away from my image. And so here I'm just going to do like three eighths of an inch and it's based on the letting. So the first line will fall three eighths of an inch away from my image. Now, of course, I need to open up my text container. So I'll just double click or the fantastic shortcut option command C or Alt Control C to open that up. Now, what this does is this gives me a container, which I can, of course, set an object style with. And then when I put my content in here, it will always give me that exact distance. And because I have my snap to on, it simply snaps right to that, thanks to my smart guides. And this gives me my baseline option so that I have perfect spacing under my captions every time. It's just one of those little things, but I find it to be super helpful. And I, this is one of the things that I set up in all of my documents here. So I don't even have to think about how many spaces I put in or how many down arrows I use to move the text container away. Now, the next thing is you notice when I move this down, then of course it allowed me to have overset text. Then I had to go in and I had to either double click on the window shade or use my shortcut to get to that resize window. Well, that's another thing that's going to slow me down. So going back to my text frame options, I'm going to work with the auto size feature. This is something I love. When you're doing a lot of work in a document, catalogs, books, or a multi-page document, and you have to spend a lot of time resizing and making sure that your, your text container isn't too big or too small. The auto size feature I love. Here with the auto size, currently it's turned off, but you can go and you can auto size for height or width or both or keep them in proportion. I found that resizing the width is not something that I prefer, but I definitely like to make sure the height can be resized. And so what this will allow me to do is no matter how much text I have inside this container, it will automatically resize as I go along. If I take text out, it'll resize. If I add text, it'll resize until it reaches the limit at the bottom of the page. So here I anchor it via this little window here saying, okay, when I resize, it's going to anchor it at the top and then it'll resize down or it'll resize from the middle or it'll resize from the bottom. Here, I'd like to anchor it at the top. So any uh, time that I resize this, it's always going to resize from the top. So height only, it's not going to adjust the width at all. So I'm going to click OK. Now, if I take my text container, as you can see here, there's the bottom of the text container. I'm going to activate my type tool, hit a return. And then we add text. There we go. And so it automatically resize the container. Now, if I open up the container here, you can see that it snaps right back. If I then go in and I delete the text and get rid of that paragraph return, you can see that it auto resizes. So I never have to worry about that extra text kind of falling behind or warning me at the end when I print or PDF or export that, hey, you know, you've got some overset text. Doesn't happen. Now, one thing that could happen is you inadvertently delete all the text and then you're like, where did my text box go? 
Let's go back to our text frame options, back to the auto size here. And I can also set this so that it's a minimum height of say a half an inch so that my text container doesn't close up on itself and then not have anything in there. So here I can say, you know what, it's going to be a minimum width, so it doesn't, or a minimum height, it doesn't go below that certain height. And then if I delete everything in there, my text container will still be there if I want to go back and add something to it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.